Hey guys, uh, welcome to Ask Me Anything About Evernote number 17. Yeah, if you've got any questions about Evernote, leave them in the comments and I'll add them to the big list and we'll get to them in another video. This is going to be the last video of the year because it's like 2025 in a couple of weeks. So um, and I think it's like Christmas Day next Wednesday and New Year's Day the following Wednesday. And I'm not going to be doing videos then. I'm absolutely not. Um, so yeah, that's one before the new year. Uh, one question today, which I've kind of like been inundated with. I've had loads and loads of people leave comments and email me and contact me on socials and stuff and say, what exactly are Evernote spaces and what do I use them for? Yeah. So last week on Taming the Trunk, uh, I published a article about um, Evernote spaces coming to individual accounts. Spaces was something that only Evernote teams, business accounts had before. And now individual accounts are going to be getting hold of them. Right. And I did a little bit, bit of a piece and man, it went absolutely mad. Um, what do we use for them for? When, I'm, when am I going to get them? So they're starting to roll out about now as I'm recording this. So I'm recording this at sort of like eight o'clock on, on the 17th of December. So it's starting to roll out to everybody now. So it'll You'll have it in a few days kind of thing. What do you use spaces for? What are they? Well, they're kind of like another layer of organization. You can create a space for like a client or a project. You can create one for your personal life, for example. You could create one for just managing your kids or something or managing one kid and have another space for another kid, something like that. You could create a space for a class subject, something like that at university. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you one of my spaces that I've got live at the moment that I actually use on my main account. And then we're going to jump back into my demo account here and we're going to set up a space. So let me switch accounts and head back into my main account. That's the garden pond, by the way. <laughs> I wish. Yeah, I wish. So here we go in my space, in my main account. This is my taming the trunk space. This is where the magic happens. Everything comes together. So we can see we've got what's new, the latest, most recent notes out of all of the notebooks within the space. OK, we've got a section for pinned notes. We can pin lots of notes here, lots and lots of notes here. Right. Almost like shortcuts in a way, but they're like shortcuts that don't need to sit in the shortcuts section in the sidebar, right? They're just for this space. So you can add notes to the pin note section. It's very cool. And then underneath, we've got all our items, which is basically all the folders. So I got um, little notebooks for uh, uh, stuff that's been published and I've got stuff that I'm actually working on right now. So this this is kind of like a, a list of, of the notes in the, in the main folder. So I've, I've got my downloads thing. There's Evernote uh, in 2024 year in review that's a an article i'm working on for for later for well just the end of the year to be fair um and and we can we can fiddle around with them so this code highlighting one for example i can drop this out of the notebook and that note now exists only in the space right not in the notebook. It's not in the default notebook. It's not anywhere else. It's just in this space. And then if I wanted to, I could shift that and move that into another folder like so. OK, so this is kind of like how it works. Imagine running projects or running, I don't know, kids, something like that within an individual space. It gives you the chance to just focus on those individual things. So let me flip back into my demo account and the garden pond again. And then uh, what I'll do is we'll create a space. And I'm going to try and create one, uh, which is kind of like recreate my training space. I do a lot of training work and I do training work for two agencies and private sessions, right? So what I do is I have a training space that contains all the information for all my trainings. Right. Let's get into it. Right. So on the left hand side in the sidebar, we see spaces and we can create a new space. And I'm going to call this training. Bit of a description as well, if you want to. And then we click create and we have a space 
fantastic. So you can move notebooks in. So you can move existing notebooks into the space. Right, so let's do that quickly. Right, so let's create a notebook outside of the space. I'm going to create a notebook, and this notebook is going to be called Agency One. Okay, so that's the first agency I work for. And I'm going to open that notebook, and I'm going to throw in a note. Okay, and we're just going to be calling this, um, oh, I don't know, training job in Birmingham, where I come from. Um, training job in Birmingham. Right, okay, so... um. So let's go back into our training space, move a notebook, and it's not in spaces, agency one, tick it, move it. Okay, now, it still exists in notebooks on the side here, okay, agency one. It now says it's in a space, right? So if we go into the space, the notebook's there with the note inside it, right? So you can kind of like shift uh, existing notebooks into your space, but they still stay in your stack, in your, your notebook list, in the sidebar, exactly where you want them to. This is kind of like a, a, a way of organising everything. Let's create a new notebook. So I'm going to create a new notebook called Agency 2, like so. I'm also going to create a notebook for private sessions. I'm going to create one for Agency one, whoops, engine C one completed. I'm going to copy that. Um, and then I'm going to create another one for agency two completed. And then finally, I'm going to do private completed. Okay, so this is kind of how my training session space sits, right? At the moment, this is what it's kind of like. Um, do a little bit of sorting. You can sort by updated. I tend to use it updated. You can sort by title as well if you want to, however you fancy it, like so, right? Um, this is how I how, how everything sits sits for me in my training space. So, so basically, inside Agency One, it, are, are all the training sessions I run for Agency One. Every individual note is a training session, right? Um, agency two, all the training sessions, then my private sessions, and then the completed ones kind of make sense, doesn't it? What it means is that all my training is in one place, right? So before, if I wanted a note for an agency two training job, right, I'd have to go into the stack, into the agency two thing, find the note, open it up, whatnot, and everything like that. So this does make it a little bit easier. And what we can also do is pin notes to the top. So for example, I can pin training job in Birmingham and click done. And we get training job in Birmingham here as a pin note. Now, another real life example. So if I right click on agency two and add a note, door code X, Y, Z, one, two, three. There we go. And then we'll go back into my space like so. Let's have a look. Agency 2, door code there. So we can see all the notes inside. And then I can edit this. Uh, I can go to Agency 2, door code, and I can click done. Now, this shows up in my on my phone as well. So the space is on my phone. I go to a space. I see my pin notes. I click on the door code. Bam, I know the door code, how to get into the training room when I do that session. So much easier. I don't want that door code because I've got kind of about six door codes, right? So I don't want all six of those sat in my shortcuts all the time, right? I want to be able to get to them quickly. So I found this works really well to get to things quickly. So there we are sat inside. This is kind of like how it works, you know, in structure and things like that. Uh, there's a little three dots menu at the top where we can kind of like add the space to our shortcuts list. So if we do that, our space appears in the shortcuts list and we can move it to the top if we want, like so. All right, we can rename our space as well if we really want to. We can do a few little faffy things there. Interesting stuff, searching. You want to search inside of your space. Hit the search box 
and you automatically are searching in the space that is open. It works a little bit like um, how notebook searches work. So when you're in a notebook and you hit the search box, you're searching within that notebook. Same in spaces, right? So we can search from notebook there. Now, if I go to my all notes for you, it's, um, that's notebooks. Let's go to all notes for you like so. I can also filter notes that are located in my training. Ha ha ha. Like so. Um, I can also toggle off notes in the spaces so it doesn't show notes in spaces for me like so. <laughs> so there's quite a bit we can do with spaces. Uh, I'm finding it really useful. So like I say, I've got a space for my training sessions for all the training work I do. I've got a space for big projects that I run. I've got spaces for a couple of my big clients. You know, my smaller clients, I tend to just leave them in the sidebar, in their notebook on the left, right? I don't really need a space for every single client. It's just the big ones. The, the big ones might have a few notebooks and things. You could use this if you were at university study. You could have a space for each individual class or something. List is endless. You know, work it out. You can kind of like... um you know, work out what you want to use it for. So so try it, have a play with it. I hope this little video kind of helps how it works. I think it's really cool. And I'll be really interested in how you are going to use them. Um, so let me know in the comments, definitely. Uh, that's it. Happy New Year. Have a great New Year. And back in 2025. If you've got any questions about Evernote, leave them in the comments. And... Uh, I'll put them in the big list. Thanks for watching.